Hey guys, Lee Taft here. Welcome to Speed Tips from my garage in the classroom. Today I want to talk about, hey, this is episode number 110 by the way. Hey, I want to talk about an exercise that I think is really, really good to kind of finish off the warm up to really get them ready to go. If you're going to do some kind of sprint training or if you have athletes prone to posterior lower leg, or, uh, excuse me, upper leg, uh, backside posterior type injuries. Also, if you want to start to train coordination of uh, the muscle, muscle being able to contract and relax, I think this is a really good exercise. So what I have here is a, a fairly light uh, tubing. Okay, it's not heavy at all, but it's enough because I'm going to be doing single leg activities here. So a progression that is really good to do is what we'll do is we'll start the athlete balancing. So I actually am working both sides at the same time. So when I get into my block thigh position, this opposite leg is working hard. Like my plantar flexor, flexors are working extremely hard to keep me from falling and getting pulled forward. And so I'm getting some great activation on this entire side. Now, here, when I start in this exercise, we'll start high and I'm just gonna work on isometric hold. So we can hold a position and we're starting to get nice tightness here and then we relax and we can do multiple sets of that. And then what we do is we get them back into this position and we work casting of the lower leg and then returning. Okay, we're up, hold, cast, down. Up, hold, cast, down. So as the leg's gone, then that hamstring now has to turn on to decelerate my lower leg from continuing to cast and reach. Okay, and then, and then as my hip pulls my, uh, my thigh down to the ground and I'm stopping that casting action, I'm getting contraction at both ends of the hamstring, okay? So this is an excellent exercise to work that, okay? So now we'll work on that. And then we start to build from the bottom up and then right back down. So now we're getting the feeling of cycling through and being able to contract and relax this pattern. So it's up, pull down. As that band is wanting to pull me forward, this opposite leg is working hard too. And then the final one, if I wanna really concentrate on higher hamstring, glute, lower glute, uh, connection way up high, is we'll go straight leg and just put your hand right on that connection there between the upper hamstring and the glute, the lower glute. And then we start working on snapping down extend and pull back down and then we can put the whole thing together where it will come up out and down up out and down excellent exercise and i'm telling you built a lot of fatigue on this side as well so this exercise with this tubing is really really good to help get your athletes prepped and warmed up but also build some coordination and control of those patterns that you're trying to build for your athletes there and keep them healthy because nothing's worth worse than those hamstrings so if i want to focus more on lower hamstring or mid hamstring i can do some things up here okay i can go a little heavier if i want and work on these patterns but maintain neutral pelvis position don't get caught in anterior pelvic tilt stay up and then if I want to start working that coordination of cycling and casting, and then we start building, because as I start pulling down, that moves up my hamstring more up to the glute to help me extend my hip, as we're when I'm in a flex position here, and I'm getting extension of the knee to flexion, to like extension to flexion when I do the first progression of holding up here. <laughs> Sorry, my opposite leg is fatigued holding myself here. So now I'm working some lower hamstring, and then I work lower, upper, lower, upper, and the whole combination of that chain, all right? Give that a shot. We'll see you tomorrow for number 111. Have an awesome day, guys.